Welcome everyone in today's video and uh, now we will be talking about axioms and the axiom is um, like a statement or uh, like a rule um, that we accept without any proof okay and axioms are actually foundations in geometry and we'll focus on uh, four axioms today and we'll be talking about points and lines and the first axiom so the first statement uh, is about two points, so let's mark two points. We have point A and point B. And the question is, how, how many lines we can draw between the points A and B? So exactly, this is just one stray line going through A and B. And this is the first axiom. There is exactly one line through any two given Points, and we just accept it without any proof, okay? And that's why this axiom also is called two points axiom, okay? So we can just uh, draw one line going through two points, given points. Okay? So make sure you have um, the axiom into your copy and you have drawings into your copy as well and you will uh, learn them off by heart okay and then you can tell me what is it about okay now we have uh, the next axiom and the next axiom uh, is about the distance between two points okay and the properties between them so the first one let's say we have two points a and b and we want to check the distance between them, okay? So we need to get a ruler and measure the distance. And what you can tell me about the distance? So for sure the distance never ever will be a negative number, right? It's always be a positive number. So this is the first statement, the first axiom in here. The distance between two points is never, never negative. And you wouldn't say that um, the distance between N, A and B is minus 3 okay so never ever negative number okay and the next property so what else we can say let's say we have um, a and b the line segment okay and we know that the distance from a and b is 3 centimeters okay so we can write it down so the distance a b is three centimeters so can you tell me what's the distance between b and a so from a to b we have three centimeters but what's from b to a exactly the same why because that's exactly the same line line segment so this is the next property okay we know that b a is exactly three centimeters so the next statement says a b is exactly the same length at as b a okay so you need to take it down to your copies okay then we have the next one okay so let's say we have a b and we mark C some more, okay? So um, now we know that AB is 8 centimeters, okay? And then we know that point C lies on AB, between A and B. So what we can tell about AC and CB? If AC is 5, CB has to be 3. So uh, we know that when we add AC and when we add CB, what we'll get? Yeah, AB. Okay, so when we have AC 
and CB. When we add them up, we'll get the full length of AB. So these statements are really, really easy and we will be using them a lot, okay? And that's why this axiom, axiom 2, is also called ruler axiom, okay? It's all about properties of the distance between points. So when I ask you tomorrow what is um, the ruler axiom about, you need to tell me um, about the relationship with uh, between the, the points, okay? So uh, first of all, we know the distance between two points is never negative, it's always positive. Then um, the distance between AB is the same as uh, BA because it's exactly the same line segment. And then when C is in the middle of AB, we know that the distance of AB is exactly the same as AC plus C. B. And here we have next axiom, axiom number three, and it's all about the properties of the degrees measure of an angle, okay? So let's start, let's draw a straight line. We have point A, and we have point um, C, and then we can have X in the middle. And let's mark an angle in here. So this is an angle on a straight line, and this is a straight angle. And the straight angle, as you know, is yeah, 180. Uh, but then we can mark another straight angle, just in here, and this is 180 as well. And as you can see, this is the full circle, and the full circle has uh, 360. Okay, so axiom number three is all about um, the degree measure of an angle. So the first one, a straight angle, uh, has 180 degrees. And then we have the second part of this axiom as well. So let's say we have an angle. And we have A. B, C, and then we want to divide it okay, into two different angles. Let's mark it E. Okay, so we have one angle in here, and this is A, B, E, A, B, E, or E, B, A, doesn't matter. Then we have another angle in here, and this angle is called uh, a, B, C, or C, B, A. And then we have another one here. And this angle is called E, B, C, or C, B, E. And what we can tell about these angles, and um, this statement is very, very similar to uh, the last statement about the ruler and our three points on and the line segment, when we add the map, we'll get the full line segment, so it's exactly, exactly the same in here. So when we add this angle to this angle, we'll get this angle, okay? So how would we write it down using math symbols? So we have the angle ABE plus the angle EBC and what we will get? The full ABC angle and this is the next statement in this axiom and it's all about uh, measuring the angles by uh, using protractor so we can also call it protractor axiom and then the last axiom for today is axiom number 5 um, we won't be talking about axiom number four. You will meet it later on, but not now. And what is it about? So let's have a line. And then mark a point, might be X, anywhere. And the question is, how many lines you can draw um, through X point and this line has to be parallel to L. 
Okay, so we have line L, we have point X, and how many lines we can draw through X parallel to L? So it's exactly one line. So we need to imagine here that um, these lines are parallel, pa and we know that parallel lines never ever meet. Okay, so um, if we let's say draw this line, it's not parallel, it's going this way, and they will meet at some stage. Okay, so that's exactly one line parallel to L and going through point X. So um, this is the st statement, this is axiom number five, you have a line, you have a point, and there's exactly one line going through this point parallel to given line. That's why this axiom is also called axioms of parallels, okay? And for the end, um, for tomorrow, just make sure you know all the axioms and you know the second name for it. So axiom one is two points axiom, uh, axiom two ruler axiom, axiom three protractor axiom, and axiom five axiom of parallels. And you know exactly what is it about and when you can um, use it. And for the learning check, please uh, complete this little uh, and short question. Okay, so draw a line segment PQ that is 10 centimeters in length. So draw it into your copy and then um, if you could uh, complete them into your copy as well. Okay, so we need to measure each of the line segments uh, PQ, PX, XQ uh, and remember what's the difference between these brackets and these brackets, okay? Calculate PX plus XQ and then um, answer this question, okay? So see you tomorrow.